all right so welcome back in this video we're gonna start building the player's side so let's start with building the labels of player one and player two so i'm gonna do that right here and i'm gonna have to comment here building player one and two labels here we just built the new game button so i'm gonna have to say building the new game button all right so we're good now and start we're gonna build player one label and it will be of q label as usual and it will say player one and then we do have player two same thing q label and display player two all right now what we're gonna do is to simply add this into a sort of some sort of uh, layout that is a grid layout because we do have so many elements that we need to add and we can't add them vertically or horizontally because we do need them in a form of table so the first thing i'm gonna do is to simply create a grid and it'll be a q grid layout and now inside this grid i'm gonna add player one and player two all right so to do that we're gonna add the widget and this widget will be of player one and add another widget for player two now if i go ahead and run this let me just close this one and run this again we can see that nothing has happened because we didn't really add this grid into the layout and we already have a layout for this widget which is the box all right so to deal with that what we can actually do is to simply create or add this grid into the box that we have so i'm gonna do that right here so box dot add layout and we're gonna add the grid that we just created all right so now if i run this again we're gonna see that we have the new game button and we do have player one and player two now notice that these are in a grid however they look vertically in in this grid we do have the player one here and player two here now what you can actually do about it is to simply add these in a horizontal manner so the grid is actually just constructed uh, in a default manner using the horizontal or vertical first now what you can actually do is to add parameters to this grid so we need player one at index zero so this is the row and we do have we need it at column zero also all right so player two would be at row zero and column one for this now if i go ahead and run this again i'm gonna get something like that and they're not really centered so what we can do about it is to simply center them whenever we create these buttons so we can do that by simply writing player one dot set alignment and we're gonna use qt core for this so qt core dot qt and then align center then we're gonna do the exact same thing for the second one qt core dot qt dot align all right so align center and we're good to go now let's close this run and we're gonna see it player one and player two centered at uh, the uh, form of the grid that we have all right so that's it basically for player one and player two now let's change the size using css so what i'm going to do is to simply use the function that we have used earlier set style sheet into open it and we're gonna start building it all right so the first thing i'm gonna do is to send set the font size into 40 pixels then i'm gonna simply use the text transform into uppercase and then we're gonna have letter spacing between the letters so we're gonna have space of two pixels i think it will be good and then we're gonna have to use margin top to 
just differentiate or add some margin between the players and the button of new game and I'm gonna add 20 pixels for now then we have margin button it will be 10 pixels and the position will be relative alright I think we're good now let me just have the font weight of 100 for now now let's close run this again and we're gonna get something like this it looks a bit nicer than the one before so we increase the size font weight and the position of it all right so now we do the exact same thing for player 2 so I'm gonna copy it paste it and just change this right here all right now let's close and visualize it one more time and we're good to go to so we do have our players this is the labels that we're gonna use now what we're gonna do is to simply add the score of both players so we do have score here and here and we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did before we're gonna create a label and then assign a alignment center and then we're gonna change the style of it so I'm gonna name it score one it will be of Q label and it will start with zero and we do have score two also Q label and start with zero two all right so I'm gonna copy this and paste it two times this is for score one and this is for score two and now if I go ahead and run this again we're gonna get something like I'm sorry we didn't really add it to the grid so let me go ahead and add it really quick right here now remember that the first parameter is the actual element or widget that we need to add then we do have two more parameters the first one is for the row I need it at row 2 so at index 1 and then we're gonna add 0 here and of course if I need to add the score 2 we're gonna add it also at row 2 which is at index 1 and the column should be at index 1 too alright so now let me close this and let's run again and we're gonna get our labels for the score of player 1 and player 2 now let's adjust the style of them so I'm gonna go ahead and do it really quick right here after creating the both the scores and setting the alignment I'm gonna add here score one dot set style sheet into and we're gonna start by building the style right here so we're gonna have the font size of just 80 pixels for now and then we do have the font weight as before of 100 and we're gonna have the color I'm gonna use this color for now EB for D for D I think it looks nice then we do have the margin bottom of 130 pixels for now all right I think we're good to go let me just close this run it again and as we can see we got our number which is zero for now for player one now let's adjust this too so I'm gonna copy score one and simply change it to score two close and run and we're gonna see that we got our buttons player one and player two as labels and these scores too all right so that's it basically for building our two players player one and player two and their score now in the next video we're gonna build the buttons to roll hold the dice we're gonna add a few images and we're gonna add the current score of both players so that's it basically for this video, see you in the next one.